Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 20th of March. I'm James Spann, first night of spring, and we have a freeze warning in effect. How about that? Let's go to uh, the satellite view around the nation this afternoon. Uh, you can see a big trough that is carved out over the east. Ridge in the west. That's going to pull down some colder air tonight. That's the visible satellite view. And you can see it's still cloudy down over southeast Alabama, but for the northern half of the state, the sky is mostly sunny. We note that cumulus field up over the northwestern part of the state. Temperature is mostly upper 50s and low 60s. That's below average. We ought to be in the upper 60s this time of the year. And around the nation, we're just having a hard time getting warm up north. I mean, it's cold, way below freezing. Uh, Chicago, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Uh, it doesn't feel like spring. And a year ago, they were in the 80s in some spots up there. But again, tonight will be a pretty cold night here. We're expecting lows in the 20s early tomorrow morning. Convective outlooks, this is uh, tomorrow, day two, Thursday. 5% severe weather possibilities for places like Shreveport, Dallas, Fort Worth, almost up to Oklahoma City. And then on day three, which is Friday, uh, from extreme southwest Alabama over into the eastern half of Texas. And understand, uh, uh, no formal risks on either day, just the low end 5% probabilities. And uh, we'll keep an eye on that. But around here, certainly no severe weather through Friday. Uh, if anything, we have to worry about snowflakes. This is the watch warning map. Now, the county's in blue here. Uh, those are counties under a freeze warning. And the Weather Service does that when we get into spring and it's late in the season. But I think all growers know it is way too early to plant anything harmed by a frost or a freeze. Winter storm watch is up for northern Arkansas and southern Missouri. And that little disturbance will have a chance of bringing some snow down into uh North and northwest Alabama, this is the chance of accumulating snow greater than one inch tomorrow night. And you can see how that kind of filters down into the northwestern corner of the state. And we'll look at that in more detail here in just a second. Uh, this is the uh, rain for the next five days, one to two inches likely. This carries us through Wednesday morning of next week. But almost all of that will come tomorrow night, Friday, Saturday, and maybe, maybe part of the day Sunday. We'll take a look at the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock local time tomorrow. Big trough over the east. And, uh, again, we start the day down in the 20s. Uh, we'll be uh, – well, the GFS is printing 26. The name is at 29. Uh, but the day should be sunny at least during the morning. Clouds will increase late in the day, and the high will be in the low 50s, low to mid 50s. It'll be a very cool day. Now, this is tomorrow night just after midnight. And uh, you can see that precipitation that breaks out across North Alabama. The uh, wet bulb cooling will likely bring the uh, lower thickness values down low enough for snow across uh, North Alabama. Now, let's look at some of the high-resolution modeling. This is the RPM, the projected snow accumulation. And this thing's trying to print two inches up there around Florence and Muscle Shoals. Could it happen? Yes. Will it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a very tough call uh, with thermal values that are, that are marginal. Uh, but it, it could. And uh, if we see accumulation up there, more than likely it's going to be in the grassy areas. This is the high-resolution NAM, the 4-kilometer NAM. Uh, the amounts up there are, again, uh, you know, about one inch around Florence and Muscle Shoals. And the amounts taper off as you go farther south and east. It's got a dusting uh, down toward Aniana and Anniston by Friday morning. And the GFS looking very similar, showing some light accumulation of dusting for the northwestern corner of the state. So we think the better chance of any snow would be along and north of US 278. That's north of a line from Hamilton to Cullman to Gadsden. Uh, any accumulation on grassy areas. And the really better chance of the significant accumulation north of the Tennessee River. That is extreme north Alabama. Uh, now down this way, we think the uh, precipitation could begin as sleet, ice pellets, uh, tomorrow night. Don't be shocked if you have that in places like Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. Then it changes to rain uh, Friday morning as the uh, uh, atmosphere warms up a little bit. And again, we don't expect any driving issues down here. There might be a, a few slick spots up in the Tennessee Valley. Now, this is Friday at uh, 1 o'clock, uh, Friday afternoon. And uh, this shows a uh, uh, really not a, a total rainy type day, just a few periods of light rain. And it's going to be cool. I don't think we get out of the 40s. Uh, the uh, NAM is showing 53. Now, the GFS is much warmer at 59, uh, but I think the NAM is closer to the truth. We might hit low 50s, but we'll be lucky if we do. Saturday, wish I had better news. That's just a washout-looking thing right there. Looks like it could rain most all day long. 
And we start to warm up. A warm front is going to be pushing north from the Gulf, and the position of the warm front will determine how warm we get. Uh, the GFS wants to push us up to 71. It might be 61, depending on where that front happens to be. There could be some thunder uh, with this. We, uh, for now, don't expect any severe weather on Saturday. But the, again, the position of the warm front plays a big role in the chance of any strong storms. But certainly it looks like just a rainy day. And then Sunday, again, you know, the GFS wants to get this stuff out of here really, really, really early Sunday morning in the pre-dawn hours. And uh, it's got some post-frontal precipitation in the form of light snow over Tennessee and Kentucky. But really, this is suggesting most of the day Sunday would be dry here. So we'll start leaning in that direction with no redevelopment on the front. Uh, we'll expect uh, the sky to become partly sunny. Uh, a north breeze begins to kick in, and it could be a day with falling temperatures. You know, we might start the day uh, in the 60s, then fall back in the 50s Sunday afternoon as the cooler air works in. Here's Monday of next week. Uh, no super deep trough over the east, but still, that's some cold air coming down the pike. That's a 10, uh, 1036 millibar high feeding this over Canada. A uh, highs drop into the 50s and lows well down in the 30s, and that's going to be the case on Tuesday and Wednesday. And uh, Tuesday and Wednesday morning, both of those mornings, we could easily see lows below freezing. I think we will. Uh, so next week is looking chilly but dry uh, for much of the southeastern states. Uh, not a warm spring break week at all if your spring break is next week. And again, it just looks cold. We'll go deeper into the period here. This is the 1st of April. April Fools. Hey, that looks wet and stormy, doesn't it? And that's what you expect around the 1st of April. And then uh, this is uh, Friday April 5th, the end of the forecast, and that looks just kind of cool and dry. And one more little graphic. I, I saved this for the end because I don't, want anybody, I don't want anybody to get worked up over this. This is the uh, Buffkit snowfall accumulation data. And a couple of model runs try and bring Birmingham to over one inch of snow. Uh, and those are outliers. Uh, we'll kind of discount that. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, you can have surprises uh, this time of the year. So we'll watch things unfold as we get close to tomorrow night. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.